Okay. <clears throat> Let me turn down the TV. What I am doing now is I have done the background. I've been using different purples and blues. As you can see, it's a deep underwater theme. And all those white spots are bubbles. We're going to do bubbles. Okay. The colors I've been using are BB08, which is a uh, blue violet, uh, Ultramarine, uh, Ultramarine B29, uh, C7, cool gray, and BG18, which is a teal blue. These are all pretty dark. They're all pretty dark colors. And believe it or not, most of these, I mean, I also use black, you saw that, but, in all the other videos. But, these are actually pretty dark colors, and you might not think that, but they really are. Right here. That's the teal. Gray. The purple is the dark. purple and blue. That's the teal, gray, purple, blue. They're actually pretty dark, and when you bring them all together, they darken. Um, Copics are kind of like watercolors. The more that you put on, the darker they get. And so, they may not seem that dark at first, but they really are. And I've also colored in my krill a bit more. He's got a teal eye with lots of light and bubbles in them and the way that we do bubbles is that see his eye take your white well it's not white it's your colorless blender and you dip it on there and the color spreads away from the alcohol and it becomes white there you probably can't see my camera quality is not that great it's not at a very fun angle, but this is what we can do, as I have already said. So, since I've used those colors, I'm going to take lighter kind of versions of it. And let's see here. Okay. Got B24. It's called Sky. I'm going to use my chisel tip. I'm going to kind of slowly... Work my way in like a swirly, right there. I should, yeah, and I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time, just to inform you. But it seems to normally do pretty well. And then I'm going to take my BOL, just to give it kind of a bit more option in there. I'm sorry if the camera shakes. Um, but, yeah, you know what? Do you see? Yeah, I see it better. Can take colorless blender. And you're gonna drag it like how a bubble would shine. You're gonna keep doing this, and this may take some time. Um, for me, it's not really taking much time. But the area around the light will be much darker than everywhere else on the bubble also. You're going to want to know that. <laughs> it's really cool of a effect though. It's um and it really is pretty neat. You know, it's one of those things. It's like, "Hey, you did that? How'd you do that?" sort of thing. And you may want to take your darker color. You may want to go over again in certain areas just to kind of make those lighter areas pop a bit more. I don't know. These are all going to be different bubbles, you know. And you can have different colored bubbles. Let's get um, a purple bubble in there. VO, we've got VO4 and V17, so that'd be lilac and amethyst. And that's going to be, can't see that, but... This one's going to match this one. They're attached. Maybe not. You know what? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> We're going to take lilac. 
This is a very pretty color, I think. As you can see, it's pretty bright. Um, let's see. And then take amethyst. I mean, bubbles are weird. Their shading is kind of different. I'm going to put a bit in the middle so it's darker. I'm going to take this. And when you do it like bright two tones like that and you do that swirly motion, they kind of already have that shine in them but once you go over with your um colorless blender it really kind of dulls out those areas and makes it really look like it has a shine to it you see what i'm doing here and you just want to keep going over that and it'll work it's really cool let's make one in teal like this one right here. It's going to be teal. So, we're going to take BG18. And what else do we got here? Um, B, uh, let's take GO2 in G15. Where's my G15? Oh, BG. <laughs> BG. And then, like that. I'm going to take your GO5. It's like an acid green almost. And then you're going to take your BG18, which is very dark. It's one of the background colors. And you have a really dark bubble right there, you can see. And then, colorless blender. I'm going to pick a light source. You're going to dab it on there. You're going to let it soak. And you're just kind of going to let this happen. It kind of does its own thing. You're not always 100% in control. You can be, but it's kind of more fun when all your bubbles are different. And you have a lot going on. It's just <laughs> really great. It's, um... I'm going to darken this one up. I'm going to add more... I don't really like my blue bubble, but it's, it's, art is a process. That's what my art teacher says. It's a process. You gotta do it. It takes work. It takes thought. Um, and you're gonna get frustrated. You get frustrated and you want to take your drawing and you want to, like, light it on fire or crumple it, rip it. And when that happens, you just need a break. That's all you need. It's really the only problem. It's just you spent too much time on it, and you just need some time to yourself. It's, don't ruin your work. You know, you can learn from it. You can practice. You can be proud of yourself if you just take your time. You just think about it, and, you know, you. this is supposed to be for fun. That's what drawing's for. It's fun. It's relaxing. Don't throw a fit. I know a few people that have flipped out doing this sort of stuff, and it's really silly. You can make good choices. Ah. Do, 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 do. I'm using uh, BO5. It's a process blue. It is a very nice blue color. I like it. Mine's almost dry because I like it so much. <laughs> um, a lot of my Copics are also secondhand bought. They're very expensive. But they're a great investment if you're really looking to do better work. These are great for comics, for designing and fashion. If you're going to an art college, you're going to want these. If, if you're really into, like, fan art for anime... These are great. These are, like, the markers in Japan to use. These are, like, top-notch. They're wonderful. You probably won't have regrets. I haven't met anyone who's regretted using them. They're really nice.
Um, I'm working on another bubble. I actually like this, um, this bubble I'm doing now. It's got this really cool kind of, uh, hold on. Gotta, I don't know if you can see it at all, actually, because my laptop is at a 90 degree. Oh, there it is. I think that is so cool. Maybe I'll contrast it a bit more right here. Can you see it better? Yeah. And like... This is really starting to get cool. Like... I mean... Whoops! <laughs> I thought this was a cool drawing to begin with. I mean... I'll show you the end product later. This is already 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Time flies, but those are bubbles. This is the thing. Um, I don't know. Hold on. An angler fish. Let's call him Jeffrey. My krill, my bubbles, my deep sea. And I hope you learned some stuff. Hope you got to see some cool stuff. Um, I might update the final picture. I will. I will update.